Hello! So today uh, I'm doing kind of a different video. Um, my usual spot where I film is being overtaken by stuff, if you can see. Uh, my parents are moving out of their house and moving into a new place. So um, we are housing a lot of their stuff. Uh, but I thought it would be quite nice to do a, another video and um, do it in more like a casual kind of vlogging style. So since my parents are moved out of their house and they're in a condo, uh, I thought it would be nice to make them something like, I don't know, something for breakfast because they don't have their pots, they don't have any ingredients. So I thought it'd be nice to make them like breakfast bars. So I found these bars on, I think it was like Pinterest or something, and they're like banana bars and I have these bananas that have gone off a little bit or at least enough so that they're I'm not going to eat them so um, I'm going to take these and make in, them into like breakfast style bars and I thought I'd show you uh, how I do it the first thing is um, two cups of oats and I'm going to put that in this There we go. Two cups of oats. One cup of flour. Whoa. Oops. It's this ground Saigon cassia cinnamon. Cassia? I don't know. Cinnamon. It's so delicious. Oh wait, actually, this isn't even the one from Kenzie's. That one's from Savory, which is a place um, in Carlsbad that my friend Alexa took me. Which is, that's also delicious, but there is one from Penzi's. Maybe we ran out. I don't know, we have, there's a particular one from Penzi's. We have that one, that cinnamon, but I don't know. I guess, I guess we ran out, but this one's delicious too. It's just like, it's just like, um, it's just like this one, the Penzi's one. Seems like a good amount. A teaspoon of baking powder. And then a little, a little pinch of salt. So then you just mix that around. I use a fork because I feel like the flour can um, almost sift through it without you know, having to clump up or whatever. I think I was only supposed to use two teaspoons of cinnamon, but I ended up using more than that. And I said tablespoons, but I really meant teaspoons, so I don't know, I love cinnamon, so I think it's okay. So now for the wet ingredients, we have milk, one and a half cups of milk. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Half of a cup of milk. There we go. One for my homies. Then I'm going to do three tablespoons of honey. I'm going to eyeball this. Two tablespoons of peanut butter. I just have creamy. Oh, this one. What do you guys think of this one? I don't know. I don't love it. It's like when you get used to the skippy and the like the really sugary kind, the natural kind just doesn't really um, cut it. I just have to get used to it, I guess. So that's two tablespoons of um, peanut butter. Then we have a half of a cup of applesauce and one egg. So I'm going to do, I think this is, would be a half a cup. I think it's really hard to do with one hand. There we go. Okay, it looks like half a cup. So I do half a cup of applesauce and then one egg. And then finally, some vanilla extract, and then you are gonna mix this all together. Just 
a little bit. And then I have a spoon, so let's see. Break up that egg. Mix that all together. And then what we do is we add the um, dry ingredients. Let's see. There we go. That's focused. The dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. And then we fold in the um, banana. It says to use half of the banana. I'm going to be a rebel and use the whole thing. I personally love homemade breakfast bars. I like regular breakfast bars too, but I think uh, homemade breakfast bars are delicious. I like um, I like the Velveeta for bought breakfast bars. I actually did like a whole blog post about um, store bought like granola bars and breakfast bars. I'm on the go a lot in the morning, so it's the easiest thing for me to pack, especially because. Um, like I'll eat a piece of fruit in the morning and then I'll also grab a bar just in case like I miss lunch or I want to eat it later. So I think this would be a good idea to bring to my parents because if they don't, you know, want to buy a bunch of stuff for breakfast like cereal and milk and you have to buy like eggs and then you have to buy a pan. So I thought this would be good for them to grab, keep in their refrigerator, grab in the morning and go. Um, so I hope they turn out good. We'll see. Okay, so now I pour the um, dry ingredients oops, into the wet ingredients. And uh, on the recipe, it said that it's going to be pretty uh, wet. So um, it's not going to be like a very thick mixture. It smells delicious because I love cinnamon. Honestly, the more cinnamon, the better. And I think I got that from David. I didn't used to love cinnamon as much, but um, David definitely got me hooked. Okay, so. Here I have this all mixed up. It does look very, not very appetizing, but it smells good. And then what we do is um, I'm going to dice up the banana and then put it in there. Okay, so chopped up banana right into the mixture. Oops. And then just fold it in. Yum, it looks delicious. And then I'm also going to add some uh, craisins to it as well. So I've greased that up. Now I'm going to throw all of this mixture in. And this is just a square baking dish. This into our preheated oven. See you in about 30 minutes. All right, so I just pulled it out of the oven. Looks nice and brown and smells delicious. It's very cake-like, so I will report back when I cut into it. Okay, so this is the first attempt in cutting it. I'm just gonna do one right down there. It looks delicious. Like, this would be delicious with a cup of tea or something. Oh. Ouch. It's hot. Nice. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you try it, let me know. It's still pretty hot, but... Mmm. It could do with more nuts like walnuts or something. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye.